This is Nathan for you. Of all the ways to make money with dead bodies, perhaps the most popular is running a funeral home. I went by the night before in my usual disguise to scope things out, but my beard was coming loose, so I was too afraid to go inside. <laughs> so I ended up just checking out their website. <laughs> I see still wearing the beard. <laughs> Your business is death. Correct. And that must be bittersweet for you. I must say it is. Oh, well, she seems really happy. <laughs> Probably because of all the money she makes. The plan? I wanted her to give people the option of buying more friends. Buying more friends. Paying for actors to be family or friends at a funeral. Oh. Like to fill the room. <laughs> I needed to assemble a dream team of actors who know how <laughs> to conduct team. themselves at a funeral. This widow okay. just lost her husband. Sorry about your loss. Maybe you'd hug her and kiss her. <laughs> Just go after that widow. A lot of dialects. I pick up people's languages without even trying. Canadian is um, a lot like British. I'm Canadian. Yeah, it's very Are close. you Canadian? Yeah. Well, you sound normal. <laughs> you are a little shit. Just go back to your seat or I'm going to tell your parents. <laughs> I am Sean Connery. I want a massage. <laughs> writing a script for the funeral of a fake dead guy and sent it to all the actors if the attendance today is any indication sid was a very loved man <laughs> <laughs> he once gave me a thousand dollars for no reason no reason i'm so sad I am so sad. I can't hold it in anymore. <laughs> Me and Sue were lovers. Sue <laughs> was cursed. Cursed with the gift of having too much love. <laughs> so sad. This is so sad. John, your eyes are open. <laughs> She tries to sing along, what the fuck? Sometimes when I do these things, people will have a thank you gift for me. <laughs> In the shape of money. Hand it to me, so it's like you're giving it to me on camera. So I'll, I'll come in again. Okay. Oh, hi, hi, Mrs. Boyd. Hi, how are you? Hi, great. Good, good, good um, to see you. What this is this? This is a, a small token of my appreciation. <laughs> What is it? Scissors? Why did you get me scissors? <laughs> Everybody needs a pair of scissors. <laughs> Why does the place that claims to have the best burger in Los Angeles completely empty? Try the burger, and if you don't think it's the best in LA, Gustavo will give you $100 cash of his own money. What? I don't know. What's the problem? People could just lie, for starters. <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah? It sounds good. Dude, come Gustavo on. Gustavo <laughs> agreed to put up his own cash for the promotion. You will probably meet a couple of kind people who'd actually say, okay, yes, it is the best. You don't need to give me $100. But most people would say, no, it's not the best. Give me $100. Millions? Millions yeah. of people are listening to this right now, Gustavo. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I hope you saved some money. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an expensive day. I could see that Gustavo was getting nervous during the radio show. So <laughs> no, after, shit. I had a talk with him. It's unlikely I think people will claim the hundred dollars. I'll personally put up my own money if they do. But it's only because I trust okay, you. Now I'm in. When you say it's the best. It is the best, right? It is the best, yes. Maybe he should just order a couple of his own burgers and then say, hmm, they're not the best. Pay me, Nathan. All right, everyone, welcome to LA Burger. The promotion is about to begin. No applause? There you go. Just leave it at aftertaste in my mouth. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna brush my teeth to try to get it out because it's not good at all. <laughs> I think I, I think she loves it. I did not like the burger. I solemnly swear. No, I don't like the burger. Okay. Ooh, anybody got some toothpaste or something? Sure. Okay, come on. She's clearly faking it. <laughs> 
it seemed like everyone came out a winner, except for me. How much did he lose? Good. It was good. I lost six thousand dollars. <laughs> six thousand. And how much did he make of the burgers? Probably not six k, huh? I was pumped for my first skydive, and this would really give me a good sense of the customer experience at Skydive Paris. Okay, wait. Okay. I just realized I'm supposed to meet a friend for lunch. So. <laughs> well, the quickest way to get down. <laughs> The quickest way, exactly. <laughs> I totally forgot I had lunch plans with my friend, which was terrible <laughs> scheduling on my part. I should have thought of it before and everything. I was just supposed to meet uh, my friend. <laughs> okay, that's well, okay. He doesn't seem to be in a hurry, though. <laughs> just standing here. You don't believe me, though. It doesn't matter, does it? it no, well, I mean, come, you... come. I'll, like, okay. I, I'll, you can meet him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need you to pretend uh, to be my friend. I can pay you. It's like $40. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? Sure. I forgot that I owed my friend $40. <laughs> <laughs> Main reason I wanted you guys to chat is because you're both pretty into skydiving. I love skydiving. <laughs> Where does he jump at? Where does he jump at? Yeah. I'm um, right here first. You ever see him around? Or? No, no, I haven't seen him. Pretty much there every day. Oh, really? <laughs> After we were done with lunch, Scott asked me if I wanted to go back and do the jump now that I was free. My answer? Hell yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, and I was gone. Wait. Wait. <laughs> this side is nice and juicy. This side is good. You can't... Even put Man, your nail really in, in, in there, this huh? side, my finger can go right in it. 